All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to show you how you can change your project's frame rate midway into editing your project. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so as you can see here, I've already got a project opened up and it's a template project for a recurring series of videos. So I've already saved over top of this. So if I go and try to change the frame rate, I can't, it's locked at 30 frames per second. That's what I've created before, and that's what the majority of the videos that I import are. But for this upcoming video, the clips are actually 25 frames per second, so I need to adjust my uh, frame rate. How do we do that? Pretty simple. All we have to do is create a second timeline and copy them over. And how do we do that? Well, it's actually easier than you think. All you do is go under File, and we create a new timeline. By default, it's going to use the project settings, which is what we don't want, so make sure to un uncheck this. What I'm going to do is just rename this to be 25 frames per second, just so I know which one is which. And then we click over on Format, and we change the timeline frame rate to whatever we want. So in this case, I want it to be 25 frames per second, and that's all we really have to do. I'm always a bit paranoid and I like to change my own output settings, so I change that as well. Monitoring wise, because we're going to be dropping down to 25 frames per second, I always do that as well, just so I can see it in the same frame rate that I'm going to be rendering out. And then we hit create. And now we can see a blank project, but this project is within the original one that we created. So all we have to do is go up here under our title where it says 25 frames per second and bring back the original timeline. From there, if I zoom out and hit control A, highlight everything, there we go. And then we just have to copy that. So I'll hit control C. And then we go back into our second timeline. Now we have to right click and paste. And now everything is in here. So now everything is in this project that is under 25 frames per second. And if we go to the deliver tab, we can see that the deliver frame rate is still in fact 25 frames per second, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, one thing that we do have to keep in mind is that if we click on this, it will still say that it's at 30 frames per second and that's because the global project that this is created under is 30 frames per second. So by default, any additional timelines that we create will all be under that 30 frames per second uh, timeline frame rate. But we can always manually alter that by creating additional timelines and then copying in any assets that we wanted to use. And if this video was helpful at all, please let me know in the comment section below, as well as letting me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. I want to create content that you want to see, so let me know what it is that you want to see. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.